r slash ask reddit what is normal in your country but seems weird to the rest of the world being middle class with a property having a six feet wall electric fencing linked to an alarm automated gate and garage doors with security clamps over the gate motor to prevent theft of the motor security gates over every door burglar bars and a house alarm system with infrared sensors linked to armed response with a reaction time of under 3-4 minutes. South Africa? Yep. Everyone rags on the US for using Imperial, but can we talk for a second about how weird we are here in the UK for using both inconsistently? You buy a pint of milk or beer, but a liter of coke and 25 milliliters of whiskey. People know how many miles to the gallon their cars get. But you buy fuel at pence per liter. You watch the weather forecast and the temperature is in Celsius but the wind speed is in miles per hour. Most people can tell you their weight in kilograms and their height in feet. And if they can't give you kilograms they can probably give you stone instead. Which is even older than pounds. Which nobody uses as a unit of measurement. Probably because of the confusion between LBS and pound symbol. It's a glorious mess. Canada has this same problem. Distance is measured in metric but height and weight is in imperial. There are lots of other cases. Distance is measured in time. Leaving your baby alone outside for their nap. Even if it rains or snows. This is also the normal thing to do in Denmark. All midday naps are outside in a pram. Same if you are at a cafe. It's quite normal to leave your child outside in their pram. As long as you can see them. Where I lived in Copenhagen. There was a nursery school in the same building. The windows to the room where the children napped were just round portholes without glass. It's considered that important for napping babies to be exposed to the fresh air. There was a great thing to prevent people crawling in or out the windows. This was a modern building from this century. My friend would put her baby into her snowsuit and then place the baby in the fleece lined pram. Then a down blanket, a pram cover, and a hat. She'd then wheel the pram outside in the winter with just the baby's eyes and nose sticking out. We have matrimonial ads in newspapers and sites to find grooms and brides which I think don't happen in western countries and they find it strange. The ads are mostly published by parents. It's like Tinder supervised by parents. India? Tindia. Can't be angry at this one. We have that in Germany. It's not for marriage, especially not arranged marriage, but more for general dating. It's old people Tinder. In university we thumped the tables to applaud our professors, instead of actually applauding, or doing nothing. During my exchange semester everyone not from Germany was looking at me confused why I did this. In my country we don't applaud our professors, at least not in the one I go to, it has only happened once, when the lecture was especially interesting and professionally done. In my experience it's done for guest lecturers, or at the end of the last lecture of the term. Definitely not at the end of every regular lecture though. Whole restaurants cheering when a plate or glass is smashed UK. Once was in a Canadian bar slash restaurant on holiday and a waiter dropped a tray of glasses. The local looked horrified when I was out of my seat screaming we I I I I I. Am Canadian. Would be horrified ha ha. Being left off of maps. Pewee? Tasmanians also got the shit end of that stick. At times. This could be a great Hollywood plotline. Something something apocalyptic happens and for hundreds of years humanity is in chaos. Then finally someone escapes on a ship and hits New Zealand which is magically escape the global chaos and they're like why yeah, this place wasn't on our maps. Strangers sitting totally naked skin to skin in a steamy room heated to plus 80 to plus 100 C. And as having competitions on who can last the longest in there. And as a consequence of that, having seen 90% of my friends naked, regardless of gender. Also co-workers. Putting cable ties, branches, fake eyes etc on helmets, buckets and hats in springtime to scare away the birds. Magpies are vicious bastards. Bribing them with fairy bread works sometimes I. Putting broken glass bottles on the walls around your house so burglars can't jump it and rob you. I moved to Canada and they don't even have walls around the houses. All of Latin America. Yup, Chile has neighborhoods with fences like these described. Yeah I'm Canadian and no one would even lock their doors when I was growing up in a Vancouver suburb. Drinking beer before 12 o'clock and seeing it as part of the culture. UK too. 
No judgment. I was speaking with a yank and they said that the UK is like an airport. It's somehow socially acceptable to drink at any time of the day. Never thought about it that way. But he's right. I find it weirder to discriminate drinking based on the time of day. For me it's all about what I have to do afterwards. Australia? My Aussie flatmate always used to say 1 before 10 or 10 before 1. Tax not included in advertised price. Yep, I find this so weird. I could never get used to this when I lived in Ontario. I'm British. Dreaded each trip to the checkout because I'd never quite know how much I'd be spending. The cracks that are just wide enough to be able to see in and out of public restroom stalls. United States. I've heard it's thought of as weird since men in other countries enjoy the luxury of privacy. Men holding hands in public as a display of friendship is normal in Afghanistan but super weird in the West. I think it's normal in most of the Middle East and India. I'm from the USA and my girlfriend is from Singapore. The amount of pumpkin shit we consume practically frightens her. Can confirm. Wife is inhaling all the pumpkin things. Lots of goods here in Korea. Not technically pumpkins. But it's the same word in Korea and a similar taste. Unsuccessfully helping your dad look for one of his missing thongs and then watching him squeeze into one of your mums so he can go out into the backyard and get the laundry. I'm told the rest of you, incorrectly, call them flip flops. I was going to say pineapple. Beetroot and fried eggs in our hamburgers. But yours is way better. Fried eggs on burgers are fairly common in the US. Most places that offer a variety of burgers have a burger with it or over them as an add-on. What do you call underpants that go between your ass cheeks? I suppose that's a flip-flop. G-string or less formally G-banger. Cheese curds and gravy over fries. Canada isn't real. A magical land covered in Christmas where everyone is nice and syrup literally falls from the trees. Like that's a real place. Nobody eats cheese curds. Fries and gravy. Don't be pouting these vicious rumors about. LOL. Calling mixed race people coloreds. I'm from South Africa and I am colored but when I went on holiday in Spain. Colored is a derogatory term but in South Africa it's completely normal. Marrying someone without knowing them and only seeing their face once the marriage is agreed on. Washing your butthole after taking a crap. I'm trying to bring this worldwide. In my country you bike everywhere. Cause aren't used much. For longer distances you mostly use train and public transport. Also being 6 foot is normal. Yep, your capital city has more bikes than people living there like WTF. The bikes tolerate the humans because they keep the water outside of the country. One day though, there'll be a rise of the bicycles. Having a garbage can in the bathroom for use toilet paper. That's actually really common in a lot of countries. A lot of sewer systems can't handle toilet paper. Greece? Maybe Brazil? We also do have that here, but after a while living overseas I just can't use it anymore. And think it's disgusting the smell it sets all over the bathroom every time you open it. Golden gay time. Okay, you're going to have to explain. Sprinkles on buttered bread is made by fairies and is perfect for kids parties. And anything negative said about said treat is sacrilegious. A gel slag is still my favorite childhood school vacation memory. Today I learned the Netherlands and Australia share a delicious treat. Growing up in Australia with Dutch parents was just sprinkles everywhere. Calling a traffic light a robot. South Africa? I moved to Namibia from Canada years ago and people kept saying just head to the top of the hill and turn left at the robots. It took me about 3 months to stop looking for weird robot signs or statues. Cause that's what I figured they were getting at. Dunt is a term of endearment. Context dependent. Don't text. I don't know why but teenagers from my place, Vietnam, like to put hot sauce on everything. Like pizzas, chips, french fries, spaghetti, rice, cakes, hamburgers, anything you can think of. My husband was Vietnamese this whole time. Eating biscuits and gravy. I traveled to the UK and told them that biscuits and gravy is a very common breakfast food and as you would expect they were highly confused. Biscuit equals cookie across the pond. Why we would take something sweet and cover it in gravy. And also was confused that the gravy we use has sausage in it and is white. Pharmaceutical commercials. This could only be the US. 
right? I'm from the UK, and the idea of adverts for anything but things like over-the-counter cough medicine or other non-essential medication seems absolutely bizarre. Do you go to the doctors and say well I've heard about this great X medicine and I'd like to try it for my X problem? Can you write me a prescription? How does it even work? Over here I just tell the doctor my issue and they decide which medication I get, which almost always will be a generic and branded one. I pay the £9 prescription charge and off I go. Blood pudding and fermented fish. Men wear skirts even when it's pouring outside, which is all the time. Having a reality TV star as president. Where I'm from the answer is guns. Lots of guns. You shoot guns at 9 years old with your buddy at an old washing machine. They are a way of life, and I suppose death for a lot of people. I understand why people support owning guns. They grew up with them and see them as normal. You tell people from other countries about shooting guns at 9 and they look at you funny. I misread that as you shoot guns at 9 year olds. Very different. Eating with bare hands. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.